Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Moss Pawn and Gun. Today we're going to be doing another body armor test for you. All right, you're probably wondering who this gentleman is here. This is Jeremy with Spartan Armor Systems, okay? He's got some really cool armor. You guys probably remember some of our previous videos where we've tested Spartan Armor and I've gotten an overwhelming amount of questions from you guys about his armor because he does offer a lot of you know, various composites, um, armor that really, you know, kind of suits a variety of different needs in the market. Uh, the one armor we're going to be testing here today is his AR-550 plate. Okay, why don't you tell us a little bit about it and uh, what makes it special? Sure, so AR-500 plates are abrasion-resistant plates with a 500 approximate harness on the Burnell harness scale. We have gone with the higher grade steel, AR-650. We did try that out. Um, it's got a 30% increased core hardness. And what we found during the forming process is that it's actually so hard, it becomes brittle. And it was actually snapped and broke plates while we're trying to form it to shape it for body armor. Uh, we wanted to up the threat profile a little bit to defeat level three plus threats. Uh, typically include SS-109, XM-193, 855 cartridges um, from CQP distances of 10, 12 feet. We found that's kind of the, the sweet spot when it comes to the, the steel harness range Good and uh, works quite well. We'll find that out today. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's, uh, it's really interesting. You know, this type of armor has, has gained a lot of prevalence, a lot of popularity. I mean, you guys know last year we had all this crap with the, uh, you know, talks of them trying to ban common body armor. I mean, we, we won't get into all of that, but it's, it's kind of silly that, uh, that they, they tried to go for that. And I'm sure you've probably saw a tremendous increase in business as a result. We have, we have. Absolutely. So. Well, guys, we're going to test this armor. Let's go ahead and get after it. The rig that this armor's in is kind of special. We've got a modeling clay backing. And this is just a little box he welded up with our cool logo on it, of course. Um, but we've got the armor kind of pressed in there. And what it's going to do is going to show any deformation that may result on the back side of the plate. And it's going to hold this plate nice and rigid so we don't get any kind of movement. So we get full uh, energy transfer from the round to the plate. Let's get after it. Let's do it. It's going to be fun. All right, guys. So the first round we're going to test in our AR-550 plate from Spartan here uh, is the XM-193. All right. Now, out of this 20-inch barrel, this is a Robinson N96. It's a semi-auto copy of the Stoner 63. Uh, out of this barrel, they're getting down at about 3,300 feet per second. So these things are moving pretty quick. All right, that's a 55-grain load, so it's getting down. And guys, we are pretty close. I'm only 12 feet away in terms of where I'm standing, but when I shoulder the weapon, the muzzle is about 10 feet away. So guys, we are very close here. We're going to shoot one row down the side, have a look, see what these rounds will do. Remember, with defeating armor, guys, speed is what does it. So, you'd be surprised. Here we go. Wow, that looks scary. We'll see what happened. Well, guys, we can see that XM193 is definitely no slouch moving 3,300 feet per second out of that 20-inch barrel on the Robinson there. Uh, you don't want to get shot with that, guys, especially from CQB distance, a 20-inch gun. You're kind of screwed, but we do see that the armor did its job, okay? AR-550 armor. Now, this is a flat plate. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that if you order a piece of armor from Spartan, it's going to be their advanced triple curve, which is a much more ergonomic plate. It's not just going to be this flat plate. Uh, we have the flat plate here for demonstration purposes, obviously, so we get a nice, uh, even space to shoot over for you. But the anti-spalling coating did its job, okay? We didn't get any kind of spalling, uh, get out and, and damage the side of our uh, contraption here for holding it. Behind, we did get some temporary deformation. Now, that's why Spartan offers their trauma plate, or trauma pad, rather. You could get some minor blunt force trauma, and that's why that trauma pad is there to help absorb that. Uh, you know, of course, the entire surface area of this plate is going to distribute the force that is applied to that one pinpoint area. So by having the trauma pad, it kind of helps uh, prevent getting any, you know, bruised ribs or cracked ribs or anything like that. Uh, so the plate did its job. We are going to go ahead and step up to some eight, uh, M855. All right. So 62 grain green tip. Let's do it. All right, guys. Same test, same rifle, but this time we're going to step up to the uh, M855. It's a 62 grain, mild penetrator. Try her out. 20 inch barrel, same distance. Here we go. Whoo! I think I might have shot a little low on that last one. 
clipped them on the bottom, but let's have a look. All right, guys. Well, that 62 grain green tip was getting down. Uh, I didn't mention the velocity is just under 3,100 feet per second. So slightly uh, slower velocity than the 55 grain, obviously, because of the you know heavier projectile, longer bearing surface, thing like that. But uh, the armor did its job. First shot up here. 100% contained with just maybe a little bit of splash trying to get out. But of course, guys, that's what the coating's meant to do is to hold all of the jacket fragments in. Second shot, everything's good, contained. The third shot, I hit a little bit low. But the interesting thing I want to you know, mention here is that the plate still did its job. It stopped the round, even here on the edge. A lot of people were concerned with armor having weaker edges you know, by the way it's processed, by the way it's cut, but the armor did its job even on the edge. So if the plate takes a hit, you know, near the edge, you're still good. Now, some of the spalling got out a little bit on the bottom, and we actually did have some of the jacket splash kind of come back at us, uh, but it was very superficial. It didn't, you know, cause any kind of a, an issue. Very uh, minimal amount of, you know, energy transfer you know, superficial energy transfer in the back of the plate. The reason that this one is large on the bottom on both sides is because the plate at that point was probably allowed to move a little more. And that's probably why we got that. Not making excuses, just trying to, you know, think of the science that's going on here. So pretty cool guys. Um, that's an interesting result. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna step up to some armor piercing 30 alt six ammo. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna look at a, at a maximum danger situation that you're, getting shot at almost point blank range with a Springfield uh, 1903 service rifle and 30 alt six. Let's try that right in the center and see if it punches through. That's AR 550. Let's give it a try. All right, guys, this time we're gonna shoot 30 alt six AP at it. This thing's getting down at about 2,700 feet per second. Guys, this round is no slouch and this armor is not rated for this round, okay? He does make a level four armor plate. If you need to stop threats like this, he does have a plate for that. This is just purely academic, just to see what happens. So you're wearing his armor, you turn a corner, and a guy's pointing a 1903 service rifle at you loaded with an A-pit round. Pretty much worst case scenario. We're not far away. Let's go ahead and give her a shot here. This is black tip 30 out six. Here we go. Ooh, <laughs> that sounded scary. All right, let's see what happened, guys. Oh, ho, ho, Nelly. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, guys. Well, that's interesting nonetheless, but that, that alt six rounds got a lot of power and we're pretty close. So we're going we're gonna to give a mulligan to the little plate here. I kind of figured this was going to happen, but, you know, we can't do an armor video unless we destroy something in the process. So the round carried on through, went through the clay, put a pretty nasty ding on the back of the, uh, of the little contraption here for holding it. Probably a little more damage than we uh, prepared for. You certainly don't want to be standing in front of a 30 alt six that's going down range out of an 03 or any kind of gun for that matter. Uh, but if you do find yourself in a situation where you want to stop armor piercing 308, armor piercing you know, 30 alt six, those level four uh, threats, he does make a level four th uh, plate here. This is NIJ certified. Good to go. We have tested this plate a pretty good bit, and it is one wicked contender. It's a powerful plate. It's not that heavy. If you're up against those kind of threats and you need a plate that can stop them that's actually NIJ certified, he's got a plate for that. But guys, we appreciate you uh, watching today's video. We had a lot of fun shooting this armor. Um, hopefully this was a different perspective, something you're not used to seeing from us. Uh, but we appreciate you watching today's video. We have much more body armor testing on the way, some 50 cal stuff, more work with the cannon. I know some of you guys have been asking me about the cannon. So uh, we appreciate you watching today's video. We'll catch you next time.